Jim Zorn and his team uh, up here in Seattle. I thought it was a well played, hard fought game, and they had the lead at halftime. Fortunately, we made you know more plays in the second half to you know to win it. But I thought his team played hard, played well, and uh, you know I think I think Jim does an awesome job as well as a bunch of the guys that are with them. So uh, was glad to see us kind of get things uh, smoothed out in the second half. Um, you know, we ran the football better. We used some two-back set more. And uh, Landry, you know, overall got in a better rhythm. And, uh, you know, the, the, the guy, everyone, again, has to, to realize he's had six days of practice in the last six weeks. And before that, he hadn't played in a year and a half. And it's, it's one thing to practice. It's another thing to be in live games. So I, I just think his sky's the limit for him. He's just going to keep getting better the more comfortable he, he becomes and the more experience he gets out on the field in live action. Um, you know, I, I think he'll just continue to improve. Uh, Donald Parham, just great. Our big tight end has just been sensational. Had another huge game here uh, t tonight or t this afternoon. And uh, I thought our run game really got going. Cameron Artis Payne and the O-line started running the football better. And they were huge. That was huge. I, I thought it really hurt us in the first half that there was no run game, and that kind of set it, it, it just kind of set you up in a bad spot. Um, defensively, we came up big. Uh, we first half we were really poor on third downs, and and that hurt us. In the second half, we were much better and improved on third. We were great on third downs. Had a you know had a, a quick three and out or four and out there at the end of the game after Landry's fumble. Was was huge. Uh, the, the guys really responded well and played well. Our, our kickers, punters, Austin and Drew, Christian, our snapper, those guys are outstanding. They they do such a great job. I thought their placement with the ball the entire night was excellent. So if we could just eliminate some turnovers, uh, I think we we kind of make it hard on ourselves sometimes. But I again I I believe we will. The more game experience Landry keeps getting, uh, so. Open it up then for questions. Obviously, the halftime adjustments were key. Uh, can you take me through what that process is like for you as a coach and what adjustments you made? Yeah, it's mostly the coordinators uh, communicating with people in the box on you know what were our issues there in the, in the first half. If we get in this set and run this or that, uh, we've got a better chance, you know, rather than a, a certain other set. So there was just some talk of that. Um, we don't all of a sudden find new plays, but we may call some other things in different sets more often. That's what we did in the second half, more two-back sets that help set up more some of the run game and some of the play action and screens off of it. And once it's working, you kind of you stay with it until, you, you know, until they show you they're going to uh, treat it differently and stop it. You know? So we were able to you know, stay in it really most of the second half offensively. Defensively, it was just execution on third downs. Um, I think Chris called, didn't call as, wasn't as extravagant as he was in the first half, meaning you got this big play sheet, and if the guys aren't executing all of it really well, just stick to some things that, that they're comfortable with and execute well, and, and we did more of that in the second half. Yeah. Uh, Jerome, at his case, we are 91.7 FM. Um, Coach, I, I noticed in the uh, first half, um, the quarterback, your quarterback, uh, he was kind of, kind of frustrated. I know the defense was uh, pressing him pretty hard, and um, you guys kind of found your stride uh, later on. Um, what contributing factor did you think it was that uh, really helped uh, you know smooth things out, smooth things out, and uh, get things going? Again, uh, we changed our formations a little bit, ran more two backs. Uh, helped Landry out and the offense out by having some run game. Uh, they were the way they were. You know, working in the in the uh, in the secondary and coverages, you should be able to run the football better than we did in the first half, and we did in the second half. Uh, and I think that helped them. It helped the entire offense to not always uh, have to throw the football, not always be in third and ten or eleven. So all of that together, I think, just worked. Yeah. There were a couple moments where you guys had the numbers advantage in the box. They'd have a really light box, five guys. Is that an adjustment you guys want to make moving forward, taking advantage of that? Well, um, you know, on occasion, yeah. Um, if they're gonna if they're gonna steal guys to go cover everybody, yeah. uh, then you 
you've got to be able to be effective running the football and, and uh, you know, make them deal with both. So hopefully we can get even better at it. You've been trying to ask. Yes, Coach. Uh, Jose Gutierrez from uh, HSN and One World Sports Chaos Radio. I was wondering, um, you, you know, as admirable and legendary as a career you've had as a teacher, mentor, coach, and your family's heritage in coaching, um, what, what have your adjustments been as part of launching this league? And how critical is mentoring for you uh, coming in at this stage of your career? And, and Landry well, Jones is one of your former players. Well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much you mentor a guy like Landry Jones who's a grown man and has three children and a, and a great wife. And so, you know, you, you always want to be an example, uh, in, my, in my eyes, a Christian example and a, and a family man and a guy that, you know, takes care of his children and his wife. And, and you want to be an example for all things that are positive uh, when you're working with young, you know, with young men. And uh, I guess that some of them are old enough that, you know, they don't need that example. Some may take it in a positive way. I always try to be positive. Uh, that's even like at halftime. It, you know, I refuse to get negative ever. And, uh, you know, so you just try and be a positive example as much as you can in really all parts of your life. And uh, I'm no saint by any means, so I don't, I'm sure I've failed it plenty of times. But I think there's probably a little more of that uh, in college because of the age of the players. And, and you're with them so much more. Um, these guys, you know, are limited in the time you're with them. And, and, but you still try. Yeah, you, Coach, uh, Donald Parham had a huge game for you guys, capped off with that big touchdown. How critical is it to get a guy like that involved with his skill set and his size? He's just so much bigger and faster than so many guys trying to defend him. Yeah, it's important. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a major target. Uh, you know, he, you look out there and you think he's not running fast, but then you realize his legs are so long, he doesn't have to move them as fast as everybody else to cover ground. So uh, he, he got great hands. Uh, and that, what I've loved about him, he, he's a competitor. Um, he, he's been tough, uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's he's been a big star for us in, in three games for sure. Yeah, he's learning how to use him. Oh, but he's he's incredible. He's learning how to use him. Well, I don't know learning how to use him. Our you know Hal's offense and what we do is pretty regimented, but we're we're finding obviously we're targeting him and and uh, finding his spots. Um, so. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Landry likes looking at that target. That's a, it's a big win, wingspan. Yeah. And then there's a difference between um, wanting to stick with what you have and believing in how you prepared versus making um, making the adjustment. Obviously, you guys made the adjustment. What did Seattle do that made you decide to kind of change what you're doing, or was it purely just execution? Well, I was uh, we like you said, some of the formations we changed uh, to, to hopefully we had hoped would give us a little more run game, and it did. Um, you know, outside outside of that, a lot of the the rest of it, you know. But I, I think that set up some of the other passing. The fact that we were able to run the football some, and had to make make them deal with that. Um, you know, that affected things. Um, but you know, a lot of times, uh, a lot of times, believe me, through my years of coach doing this, uh, uh, halftime adjustments are a little bit overrated. You all of a sudden you do the same things and you execute them better people think you made an adjustment sometimes it's truly you just your execution you know and you played better or you not just execution you have you, you, you played better um, so but you know we we did change a few things up but I don't you know I think we played better also thanks Cole. all right thank you thank you, thank you. we'll have uh, Donald Parham and uh, Cameron